Hello everyone, myself Jasmine Wilson Norona, studying in B. Ed. First Year at KLE Society's College of Education, Ankola. Today, let us study about natural resources. Let us now take a look about the contents to be learnt in this topic. That is, natural resources, water, soil, forest, wildlife, fossil fuel, and mineral resources. Here. You all can see the classification of natural resources through the flowchart. Natural resources is divided into two types that is living and non-living resources. Examples for living resources are forest and wildlife. Examples for non-living resources are renewable and non-renewable resources. Examples for non-renewable resources are minerals and fossil fuels. Renewable resources are divided into two types that is inexhaustible and exhaustible resources. Examples for inexhaustible resources are solar energy and wind energy. Examples for exhaustible resources are wildlife and forest. We see various kinds of living and non-living things around us. So, what are natural resources? Things that occur in nature and that are useful to us are called as natural resources. These are essential for our survival. Some of them are used for satisfying our needs. Living resources. A large number of these natural resources are either living or derived from living organisms. Examples forest and wildlife forest products like timber and animal products like leather are described as living resources non-living resources fossil fuels like coal and petroleum are derived from minerals of decayed dead organisms over a long period of time examples soil water air and mineral ores. Renewable natural resources. Some natural resources get replenished in nature easily. Example, wildlife, forest, etc. Inexhaustible resources. The resources that are continuously available for use. Example, solar energy and wind energy. Exhaustible resources. The resources which may get depleted by the continuous use or interference by humans example forest and wildlife non renewable resources some natural resources have been formed on earth over a long period of time the resources which cannot be replenished once depleted are called as non renewable resources example fossil fuels and minerals let us learn more about some of these natural resources that have significant influence on human life. Water. It is a unique natural resource as it is very much essential for the existence of life. It is the most critical limiting factor for many aspects of life such as environmental stability, biodiversity conservation, fuel security and even health care. In most cases, there is no substitute for water. It is largely irreplaceable resource. In nature, water may change its form, but we can always retrieve it. The earth holds the same quantity of water as it did when it was formed. Nearly 71% of earth's surface is covered by water. It is one of the most important component required for sustaining life on earth. Nearly 97% of water on earth is held in oceans, seas and other large water bodies. 0.001% of water occurs in atmosphere as water vapor. About 2.4% of water is found in glaciers and polar ice caps. A very small percentage of this valuable natural resource is available for human use. Distribution of water on earth. With even such a small quantity of water available, humans have been using water for various purposes. 
it is estimated that average consumption of water by human beings ranges from 20 to 30 liters per day depending on their activity and place of living water is used for various human activities like drinking agriculture washing and recreation in addition water is used in heat exchange processes industries and fire extinguishers the largest use of water is in the agricultural sector in our country it is estimated that more than 80 percent of water available for human use is employed for agricultural practices in states like punjab haryana uttar pradesh and gujarat over 85 percent of irrigation is done through groundwater sources we have been misusing and polluting water to a great extent some of the problems related to water in our country are scarcity overuse and unequal distribution the annual rainfall in the country is about 400 million hectare meter another 20 million hectare meters flows in as surface water this is considered more sufficient to provide water for different uses in the country importance should be given to educate people about the need for harvesting rainwater resources and constructing watersheds soil soil is the natural resource that provides minerals and water to all the land plants it is a primary nutrient base particularly for agricultural crops it is the place of living for a wide variety of organisms like earthworms crabs insects and microorganisms soil absorbs rainwater human activities have influenced even the soil quality we have declined the soil quality in various ways one such case is salinization of soil it is caused by the rise in water table when water enters the soil at higher rate and then the rate at which it is being used from the soil soil pollution decreases the fertility in the extreme cases it degenerates the soil so what is desertification water logging and salinization are the main causes of another serious problem in which once fertile lands are becoming barren and useless this is called desertification apart from this the use of chemical fertilizers have also been a serious cause of soil pollution the use of pesticides to protect our agricultural crops has also been adding to this problem the most serious threat to soil is the process of erosion top soil is getting exposed due to the activities like deforestation and overgrazing due to this soil is being subjected to the action of wind and water this is leading to a huge loss of useful fertile top soil soil protection has now become an integral part of any conservation plan restoring the soil quality can be a solution for many of the environmental issues bothering human life forests forests are renewable natural resources that have innumerable contributions to the environment forests maintain water cycle they provide habitat for wildlife they maintain the soil quality by preventing soil erosion they provide timber and many other useful products and services forests are indicator of natural wealth of a nation rapid changes have been noticed in the percentage distribution of forests in the world it is now estimated that only 20 percent of world's original forests remain intact and undestroyed in the last 20 to 30 years the rate of deforestation has increased to such an extent that we are facing several environmental problems the pattern of rainfall has changed since water cycle has been affected the rate of soil erosion has been increased as the vegetation cover on the soil has been destroyed it is now necessary to restore the forest by activities such as afforestation 
द वर्ल्ड फॉरेस्ट डे इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट मार्च वाइल्ड लाइफ द टर्म वाइल्ड लाइफ इज यूज टू डिस्क्राइब द स्पीशीज ऑफ द प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स फाउंड इन द फॉरेस्ट इट रिप्रेजेंट्स द डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स इनहेबिटिंग आर फॉरेस्ट सीज एंड ओशंस ह्यूमन एक्टिविटीज सच एज हंटिंग पोचिंग कैप्चरिंग हैव सीवियरली एफेक्टेड वाइल्ड लाइफ लीडिंग टू द extension of many species many other species are facing a threat of extinction in the near future the immediate need is the measures to be taken for the conservation of wildlife it is one of the important challenge of the present and immediate future efforts are being made to conserve the living resources through their maintenance in natural habitats examples for conservation of wildlife are national parks wildlife sanctuaries bird sanctuaries conservation of living resources involves measures wherein sample populations are protected in zoos botanical gardens and other man made situations it may also involve the creation of seed banks gene banks and similar genetic resource centers fossil fuels resources like coal petroleum products and natural gases are collectively called fossil fuels they are the result of the photosynthetic activity of green plants which were existing millions of years ago they got submerged within the earth's crust and formed the fossil fuels they are non renewable resources if their consumption is not reduced we can see their total depletion in the near future coal is a natural resource with high carbon content four types of coal deposits are normally found they are anthracite lignite peat bituminous coal you can see the pictures on the screen anthracite is one form in which carbon content is very high to about 80% lignite has about 50 to 65% of carbon content peat contains about 40% of carbon and bituminous coal has less than 40% of carbon petrol diesel kerosene lubricating oils represents various forms of petroleum products they account for about 40% of total energy consumed in the world natural gas is formed in the same way as oil low sulfur content of natural gas makes it least polluting source of fuel today the consumption of rate is more than the rate of formation of fossil fuels in one day we consume that the earth has taken 1000 years to form hence fossil fuels are called as non renewable resources mineral resources a mineral is a substance that is naturally found in the earth's crust and it is not formed from living matter minerals are formed due to earth's geological processes over millions of years hence minerals are also called as non renewable resources mining is a process of extraction of the minerals from the earth's crust more than 100 minerals including metal like gold iron copper aluminium and materials like stone sand and salt are extracted and processed for human use mining has become more intense and widespread in recent years causing serious environmental problems so we have completed the topic natural resources thank you for watching